researchers of, of kind of demographics say that Gen Z and millennials have different values than baby boomers. Like the, the way that consumers, younger consumers think about brands is different than how people who are baby boomers think about brands. Like younger people care about like, where was this made? You know, is it organic? Do they pe treat their employees fairly? Like they have different values. They care about brands in a, like a much more holistic way in a 360 way than I think prior generations have. And I think actually like the impression that people have of Silicon Valley of kind of like the hoodie wearing bro who only hires his bro friends and kind of cruises around San Francisco in a pack kind of like assessing women is a stereotype that actually is really the minority now in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. I think like the, one of the benefits of all the shitty things that we learned about last year is that a lot of founders read those stories and they were like, I do not want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. or I don't want to build that team, or I don't want to lead that kind of a company. Like what, and they sit with their staff, and they sit with their board, and they say like, okay, let's never be this. How do we change things up? How do we build a great culture? How do we, like, you know, I've sat on boards where, you know, a, a CEO without prom prompting will say, hey, we're 15 people now, and we're all guys. We're at risk of building the company that none of us wants to work at. How can you help us change who we hire next and make sure that we build the kind of company that would make us proud? And that's the conversation that is happening in so many uh, boardrooms right now and in so many companies. Like the, the customer has changed. And so I think actually the firms will change too because this is like, and one of the things we talk about at All Raise is, is this is about motivation by greed as much as if, if more than fear in a lot of ways, yep. like that people don't want to lose business. They don't want to lose customers. They don't want to lose talent. And they will lose all those things if they actually don't build a great culture and a, and a, and a team that looks like a modern company and a modern team. So greed rather than fear. Yeah. Like fear is excellent. I think fear has worked as well. Yeah, I mean, it's both, but I would say last year, you know, the reason I think it's tipping point that we're not coming back from is because as you know, this is a small world. We all live in it. We can all walk out the halls and know three quarters of the people in this room, reputational loss, even more than financial loss, yeah. is a driver for behavior. I mean, yeah. so I think actually loss and loss of reputation, I mean, I think those were the drivers and the catalyst. So I think there's greed on the one hand, like I want all the available talent and I don't, yeah, and I think there is absolutely fear of repercussion because for the first time they were repercussions. Because there are repercussions. Yeah, when absolutely. It,